On Screen Manitoba is an innovative membership driven association that leads, builds, and represents the Manitoba screen based industry. Good morning. Uh, my name is Nicole Mattiash and I'm the Executive Director of On Screen Manitoba and I'd like to welcome you to a very exciting industry expansion um, announcement this morning. Uh, bonjour, je m'appelle Nicole Mattiash, je suis la directrice générale de On Screen Manitoba et je voudrais vous accueillir pour uh, une annonce très importante pour l'industrie. So, without further ado, because we have many people who want to share this exciting news with you this morning, I would like to invite Phyllis Lang, president of Buffalo Gal Pictures and chair of On Screen Manitoba, to come forward and um, introduce the project. First of all, this indeed is a very exciting event uh, for us. Um, first of all, thanks everyone for, for joining us this morning. Um, in particular, thank you um, to our ministers in the front row here. Uh, we have um, the Honorable Flora Marcino, Minister of Culture, Heritage, and Tourism of Edinburgh with me here. And beside her, we have the Honorable Peter Bjornsson, Minister of Entrepreneurship, Training, and Trade. Uh, and we also have the Acting Deputy Mayor, Paula Habixbeck, uh here, right over there. Hi. <laughs> So first of all, um, I, I, I want to say that Buffalo Gal Pictures has enjoyed being part of the growth of this community for many years. And we were very excited to um, establish with our partners um, Opus Visual Effects two years ago. And we've been watching the growth uh, of the visual effects company expanding uh, over the last couple of years. And uh, about, about six months ago, we had an opportunity um, via our partners with Entremedia from Toronto to look at expanding uh, into an animation studio along with our visual effects studio. So we're very proud today to announce um, the expansion of Opus Visual Effects to include a division of Opus Animation um, and the very first animated movie ever made in Manitoba, Bella Sera. Uh, it, it's really quite exciting for us. Um, the film is a 3D animated movie called Emma's Wings, a Bella Sera tale. Any uh, young girl who's ever been uh, fantasized by horses will uh, be watching this movie, I guarantee it. Uh, being, I uh, haven't been at one point in my life a young girl, I can, t I can tell you. <laughs> <laughs> and, and on days I still am. <laughs> uh, this is a co-production between Buffalo Gal Pictures from Winnipeg, uh, Opus Visual Effects from Winnipeg, and Entremedia Digital Films from Toronto. Uh, Emma's Wings at Bella Sarah Tale is the first movie based on Bella Sarah. Um, it's a popular brand uh, of a virtual fantasy world of horses that originated in Denmark. Uh, there's 18 of these books, and the first movie is a combination of the first two of the books. So we're hoping that there'll be many more of the Bella Sarah movies in the future. Uh, Opus Animation has already hired eight people, and we'll be adding another 16 more in the coming weeks. In total, 45 positions will be created over the 44 week duration of, of the project. It's anticipated that 80% of the present jobs will be filled by Manitobans this year with a goal of 100% within two years. This is just the first of many projects that we plan to do with Entremedia. I think that we have to acknowledge here the why this was possible. It's because of um, our departments uh, in government, Manitoba Film and Music, and On Screen Manitoba, um, culture, entrepreneurship, that we have the opportunity to bring projects like this and create expansions here in Manitoba. 
I'm very proud to be living in a place like this where we can do this type of business, um, have the tax credits to support it, have the infrastructure to support it, and um, also the artists and the creators to support it. Um, I, I'd also like to introduce um, my partners at Opus. I don't know if they were all able to make it because we're delivering a film in the next uh, couple of days, but I think I see Conrad, Conrad Duick. Are Mike and, were Mike and Christine able to? Oh, there's, <laughs> there's Christine Albers over there. Th these are two of our partners um, at Opus Visual Effects that are part of this, uh, this great expansion. And now I'd like to introduce uh, my partner, uh, Dan uh, Kresh from Ontermedia to say a few words about, uh, about the project and why they're here. to employ that many people over the next few years because we have even more projects coming in. The latest project they did was Nomeo and Juliet, and that's the kind of uh, quality that you can expect from uh, Opus Animation. That's what we're, we're, we're striving for that kind of quality. Um, I don't have anything else to say. <laughs> Except that we came to Winnipeg uh, to build the studio here because of the uh, spirit of the people that we've met, uh, the, the uh, willingness for the government and, and the people of Winnipeg to help us, to help grow this industry, and everybody seems to have the, the same common goal, and that's what we're, we're striving for. We want to build this and, and make this a place, an uh, animation company that everybody can be proud of and really help expand the industry in Manitoba. Mm -hmm. and uh, Phyllis. Um, I'd now like to call on Ms. Minister Mar Flor Marcelino, um, Honourable Minister of uh, Culture, Heritage and Tourism. Um, as many of you know, uh, we're very fortunate in the province of Manitoba to um, have a lot of government support and really, I uh, would say, government partnership in the development of the uh, film and television industry. So please welcome Minister Marcelino. Good morning, everyone. Very delighted to be here with my colleague, Minister Bjornsson. Uh, nice to see, again, the Deputy Mayor and uh, Manitoba Film and Sound uh, CEO and all of you here. This has been a very exciting place for uh, the last uh, few months. I've been here, what? Rice already uh, for some exciting things happening in uh, uh, the film industry. Uh, I'm 
just thrilled to be here this, in this event celebrating the expansion of our vibrant visual media industry. As the industry expands and embraces digital media, we appreciate the hard work and leadership of On Screen Manitoba, Manitoba Film and Music, uh, Mani uh, and the Winnipeg Film Group that strive to ensure the ongoing development of a strong infrastructure and depth of creative talent. Manitoba's industry has much to be proud of and thanks to the vision and business acumen of indigenous producers and their ability to attract partnership opportunities like this one with Opus Visual Effects and Intermedia. I would like to congratulate Phyllis Lang of Buffalo Gulf Pictures and your partners for this bold step to expand and strengthen Manitoba's production industry and meet the challenges of a very competitive international market marketplace. We in government uh, are uh, very uh, honored and, and privileged to be in this province where uh, the creative talent, not, not just in the film industry, but also in other uh, art and culture uh, sectors, are so rich that uh, if, if uh, I don't know about you, but so many people have told me in the past, truly, Manitoba is the best place to be if you're in arts culture group. So let's keep it that way. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. And uh, now I'd like to call on Mr. Uh, on the Honorable Peter Bjornsson, Minister of Entrepreneurship, Training and Trade. Um, again, we're so fortunate that many departments work together with the film and television industry to ensure that not only are we a success in terms of form and content and creativity, but also in terms of uh, business. Thank you very much, uh, ladies and gentlemen. It's a pleasure to be here, and uh, I'd like to uh, uh, add my congratulations to Buffalo Gal Pictures and Opus Visual Effects on this exciting news, and certainly to echo a lot of the comments that uh, uh, my colleague, Minister Marcelino, has uh, brought to the table thus far. And uh, the creation of this uh, studio will add 45 new jobs here in Manitoba, and it will open up new opportunities in our established film and media industries. And the province of Manitoba has been a longtime supporter of the film, video, and digital media industries, having established a number of strategic incentives for industry investment. And uh, I know many of you here today are very much familiar with those, but for certainly for the benefit of those of you who are uh, here today to uh, share the celebration from outside of the province, I think it, it doesn't hurt if, I, if I'm allowed to brag a little bit about what it is that we do and what we hope to continue to do to support this very vibrant sector. Our uh, film and video tax credit program is the most generous tax credit program of its kind among the provinces. It allows a production company to claim up to 65% of eligible Manitoba labor costs or up to 30% of total eligible Manitoba production costs. And our budget to, uh, 2012 enhanced the Manitoba film and video production tax credit by allowing companies to claim accommodation costs as well, up to $250 uh, per unit per night and uh, eligible expenditures under the cost of production tax credit for films starting production after April of 2012. The uh, Manitoba Interactive Digital Media Tax Credit Program, which was introduced in 2008, provides a refundable tax credit of 40% to a maximum of $500,000 of eligible Manitoba labor expenditures for development of eligible interactive digital media product, er, products. And Manitoba is one of only four provinces offering tax credits for interactive digital media production. Now besides these tax credit supports to industry, the province supports a number of industry organizations through Manitoba Film and Music, and these organizations include the National Screen Institute, the Winnipeg Film Group, the National Film Board of Canada, On Screen Manitoba, Film Training Manitoba, and Manitoba Music. And Manitoba Film and Music has a number <coughs> of programs that provide support for the development, production, and marketing of film, televisions, and web-based productions. 
Additionally, the province has provided support to on-screen Manitoba's programming through Manitoba Culture, Heritage and Tourism and in partnership with the federal government through the Canada-Manitoba Economic Partnership Agreement. Manitoba has become a national and international force in the film and television industry. And today's announcement builds on the many past successes. After declining a little bit in 2009 due to the strengthening of the Canadian dollar and a global decrease in production due to worldwide recession, our production activity has stabilized at just under $80 million per year in both uh, 2010 and 2011. And in the last two years, there were 116 productions active in Manitoba. And this included 24 feature films, 44 television productions, and 48 one-time and other productions. The relatively steady stream of work over the past two years has helped to stabilize the Manitoba production industry workforce. Manitoba-based productions were nominated for an astounding 22 Gemini Awards and six Genie Awards during fiscal 2011, while other projects played to audiences around the world at festivals and screenings. Locally uh, produced series, such as Less Than Kind, picked up three Geminis, and the series Todd and the Book of Pure Evil had the highest rated premiere of any series in the history of the Space Channel. Uh, these programs, as well as Cashing In, Man with Brooms, and other television series and miniseries employed hundreds of Manitobas as artists, crew, and craftspeople. And high-profile high uh, film productions have long recognized the advantage of shooting on location here in Manitoba, with examples that include, uh, but it's certainly not limited to, Capote, The Stone Angel, Shall We Dance, and The Assassination of Jesse James by the coward Robert Ford. And I look forward to more exciting work from the film and media industry in Manitoba. I want to thank you for the invitation to share this celebration with you today. And in retrospect, it was wise that I didn't choose to do this uh, speech in the voice of an evil animated character as I thought I might try. <laughs> in the spirit of the announcement today, that would not make for very compelling. But again, uh, thank you to everyone involved in this industry. It's a very important part of our community, a very vibrant part of our community, and it certainly reflects the talent and the skill that we have in this community that uh, it will continue to develop the industry. And as mentioned, we do look forward to many, many uh, further productions and good announcements here for the industry in Manitoba. So thank you for having me here today. Thank you, Minister. So I think you're getting a sense of how many people it takes to put together a production as we go through all of our different partners. I'd like to now invite Acting Deputy Mayor uh, Paula Havixbeck to come to the stage to say a few words. Thank you very much. Um, Ministers Bjornsson and Marcelino, uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome especially to our out-of-town visitors. We welcome you even though you support the Leafs. Uh, cheer for the Jets if they get playing. Um, on behalf of Mayor Cates, Mayor Sam Cates, um, all City Council colleagues, and on behalf of the City of Winnipeg, I would like to congratulate all of those involved in, um, in the production of the first animated film, feature film, and the expansion of the media studio. We are so fortunate to have um, an, such an outstanding media production industry Within here, right here within Winnipeg, and world-class talent. This is a thrilling time, not only for our local organizations and for the industry, but for Winnipeg as a whole. No other city of our size can boast such immeasurable talent. The opportunity at hand will create and promote the great work done here in our city, and will create nearly 45 jobs, those filled uh, by local Manitobans. So this ensures our talent stays right here in Winnipeg and continues to thrive. This new development is a clear demonstration of how government support at all levels has facilitated the growth and of local production companies. Winnipeg, if you don't know, is a very film-friendly city. Many more productions year after year are produced right here. We have good infrastructure for movie production and we have a whole team within the city of Winnipeg of film and sound expertise, including our own Kenny Boyce and his people, who do such great work in bringing and keeping film production to Winnipeg. So I'm thrilled to be part of this celebration, and I look forward to the potential that this new adventure brings for Winnipeg. And again, on behalf of Mayor Cates and City Council,
Congratulations and thank you for all your hard work. Finally, but certainly not least, <laughs> I'd like to invite Carol Vivier, C CEO of Manitoba Film and Music, to the stage. Um, as many of you know, Manitoba Film and Music is our absolute key partner in any production that takes place in Manitoba. And uh, I'm sure Carol's looking forward to sharing in this new development as well. Thanks very much, Nicole. Um, I want to also acknowledge Minister Bjornsson and Marcelino and uh, uh, Paula Haversbeck from the City of Winnipeg. They are three really important partners for us and, and this whole industry here. Without them, none of this actually would be possible. Um, Paula mentioned Kenny Boyce. Kenny and his team are fantastic for us to work with, as we have Rob Kennedy now at the province, who's our film liaison. So, you know, just by the words you heard today from both Ministers Marcelino and Bjornsson, I think it's no surprise and, you know, uh, no secret of the support we have in this province, and I think that bodes to why we have uh, this uh, announcement today. And um, on behalf of the staff and board at Manitoba Film and Music, we're really excited, you know, to be here and share in this, this uh, announcement. We've had many meetings with Phyllis and Dan and Jeff and Kevin, and, you know, as this was coming about, and um, it's really exciting to actually be here and, and have this announcement. Uh, the Belisaris project is one that uh, Manitoba Film and Music is investing in. It's uh, a project that we're very excited about, and it's, you know, as Phyllis mentioned, it's a series of books, so I don't think this will be the first one. And um, we're hoping this project will be extremely successful and will recoup money and invest in more. So um, we're really excited to have this first animated feature here. It really is a big deal. And I really want to congratulate Buffalo Gal on this multi-platform expansion of your company and also to Entry Media for this, this phase of where you're going to. Um, we're really proud to continue to work alongside you with our staff and yours and just to see what you can realize and, 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 and grow and expand. This is um, initiatives like this. The Manitoba industry is certainly ahead of the curve in this ever-changing production arena, which we all know. And I think, you know, having new in new interventions and new ways to grow, it just betters, it makes it better for the entire community and provides opportunity for everybody. So I think, you know, continuing to grow is a really good thing, um, not shrinking back. And, you know, the industry certainly is on a growth curve. Um, it is a destination for innovation. As, you know, Minister Bjornsson mentioned, the initiatives that we have here to support this, Again, that's why this is possible to happen. It's providing creative employment and opportunity for skilled workers that will be here for many years to come. So I continue to look forward to working with all of you and supporting the project. Thank you for inviting us here today and celebrate this with you. And we're, again, very proud of your success and extremely excited about this new adventure. Thank you. Thank you, Carol. I'd now like to invite uh, Phyllis and Ban Dan back to the stage. Um, I think we're going to get uh, a chance to see some images since we're in the film industry. We should take a look at, uh, at what may be coming down the pipe. First of all, I just want to uh, thank the ministers, um, our Deputy Mayor and Carol Vivier for their wonderful work and call. Um, it, truly is because of what our um, government and our industry partners at Manitoba Film and Music and um, On Screen Manitoba, Film Training Manitoba. I also would like to do a shout out to Yes Winnipeg, um, who was very helpful in putting a number of things together. And um, uh, the chamber, uh, there's, there's so many of these uh, opportunities that are presented because these things exist here. It, it truly is, and, and Rob, look forward to working more closely with, with you and your department as well. Now, what you're gonna see uh, here today, and I'll, I'll let Dan say a little bit more about what's on, on the reel. Um, if, because this is about animation, we didn't bring the visual effects reel for Opus Visual Effects, but for anybody who would like to also see what Opus Visual Effects is up to, go to opusvisualeffects.com and uh, the reel uh, for Opus 
is, is, is there. It looks great. It's, it's, um, we just have freshened it up, and uh, they're an amazing team. So over to Dan. Uh, the reel that you're going to see uh, is work that we've done over the last couple of years. And uh, we did it in a studio in Hawaii, uh, which we started. And in that studio, uh, we hired 45 people. And uh, it was a very successful studio for three years. And now we're here in Winnipeg, so that's how much we like Winnipeg. Yeah. <laughs> Gave up Honolulu for Winnipeg. <laughs> the last part of the video uh, is a, a, a MIP trailer. MIP is a, one of the, we're going there next uh, month to help sell Bella Sarah. Uh, Bella Sarah is in the storyboard stage right now, so we don't have any images of the actual movie that we can show you, but we're showing you uh, uh, stills and a commercial that was done so you get an idea of what Bella Sarah will be like. And that's the last part. And it's bringing me out the dark Finally I can see you crystal clear Go ahead and sell me out And I'll lay your ship back
and focused on this project and the other projects coming in. So the value of bringing this to Manitoba is, is not just the animation studio, but all the partners that are, are uh, involved with a production like this and other productions. And, and there's a whole different group of people that are involved with animation than live action. So there's a new industry that will be moving in here from time to time as well. Thank you. Well, thank you all for coming this morning and sharing in this celebration. Um, there's a small reception in the lobby if you would like to join us. And uh, congratulations once again to Buffalo Gals and all of their partners. This is indeed a, a very exciting moment for Manitoba.